chapter 3, starting in verse 1. It says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, it's not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, yeah. beware of the concision, for we are the circumcision who <coughs> worship God in the Spirit and rejoice in, rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh, though I might also have confidence in the in flesh. The if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I am more. Circ circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law of Pharisee concerning zeal persecuting the church uh, touching the righteous which is in the law blameless right. but what things were gained to me those I counted lost for Christ yea doubtless I count all things lost, but lost for the ex excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but done that I may win Christ and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness which is of the law, but that which is through faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this right. one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded, and if, any, if in anything you be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. And just, you know, I thought about, I was yeah, thinking about this scripture. We went down to that revival in North Carolina where Dale and Jason Nunley were, and, and you know, the Lord laid this on my heart. And I was yeah, thinking God. about this verse over here that says, I press toward the mark for the prize, the high calling in Christ Jesus. You know, He saved us out of the world, right. He set us on a straight path, and Bless the old. I've said it time and time again, but it never gets old. The old time holiness way, and that's the only way that we'll make it there. But, you know, he set us on that path, and, you know, we need to stay on that path. Right. And if we don't, we won't make it. It's a straight and narrow way. And, you know, the broad broad is the way to, that can, uh, to destruction. Yeah, that's right. You know, there's many going that way, but there's not many going the right way. That's right. right. But, you know, I thought... Uh, we need to press toward the mark for the high calling. Right. You know, I was thinking as some were talking this morning about some of the trials and things they've been through. You know, I thought about when we get down, we just needed to keep pressing, just keep looking for right. that, yes. looking for our hope. You know, he right. said he's look, he's coming again to those that are looking for him right. without seeing unto salvation. Lord. You know, he's not he, you know, the first time he came, he came to be the sin offering for us. Right. He, he was he was made sin for us, yeah. but you know. Right. He's coming back with salvation this time. He's coming back to take us home. Yeah. And, you know, we, we need to keep going for him. If we don't keep going for him, we're not going to make it. Right. We can't make it by ourselves. We've got to right. make it with him. Right. But, you know, uh, again, Bless I thought Lord. we just need to press toward the mark. We need to count the world done, count everything right. done. Count, I mean, every, right. every little thing that you think might hold you back, get rid of it, count, get rid of it, and forget about it. And if, we, if we don't get rid of those things... If we don't get rid of the weights that so easily beset us, we'll not make it. Amen, and buddy. we've got to get rid of we got to get rid of the world and get yeah, it out of our life. Man, but we man. will not make it. That's right. And we, I mean, it's not popular, but it, I mean, it it is. You'll like it if you're a Christian. You'll like yeah, it. Yeah. You'll, if you don't like old time preaching, Come you on, ain't man. saved. That's, That's all right. there is to it. Right. But you know, we've got to we've got to count the world done. Count everything in our. You know, our, I say our old life because it is our old life. We ain't that same man right, anymore. Right. You know, he made all things new. But again, we need to count Listen. the world done. Count everything in our life that will keep us, that we might think will keep us from making it. We need to let let the Lord show us things that yeah. might keep us from making it and get rid of them. And, you know, there, it might be something little, but it says it's the little foxes that spoil the world. Right. And you know, yeah. it, it starts out little, but it don't. I mean, it'll grow over time. Right. It starts yeah. out like a, a little bitty thing, and you might not think of hurt nothing. 
but you'll find yourself out in the world doing something that you never imagined you'd do. Yeah. But you know, yeah. my aunt, she just got, she read it, or she saved, got saved like maybe eight months ago, something like that. And she was out on meth for 14 years. And she said the first thing she tried wasn't meth. It was something yeah. else. It was probably pain pills, something else. And she said she never seen herself out in the world doing that. Yeah. Right. But she found herself there. And, you know, God God came to her and he, he showed her the right way and saved her. Right. And now she's eight months sober. Praise and, the Lord. and yeah. you know, you don't need no, you don't need nothing else but the Lord to do something like that. Right. So they, they think they need it. Uh, they need to go to this and go to that, but the Lord, if you just go to the Lord, he'll take care of it right, right in there. Right. You know, we like to we like to just do it our way, but it won't yeah. work our way. Right. Again, we need to Bless press the toward Lord. the mark for the high calling and for, forget about the world, get the world out of our life and get rid of anything Amen. that might keep us from right. Amen. 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 Appreciate you, man. Good. Yeah. Stay away from the world. And that's what it's like you done read. That's what Paul was saying there. He, if, he, he should have been one that looked at his life by him running. He could have been held up on a big high standard yeah. for, for things of that time. I mean, he done read it. He circumcised the eighth day of the tribe of Benjamin Jr. He, he had uh, concerned the righteousness that was in the law, his blameless zeal. He persecuted the church. He done all these things. Yeah, he counted all that done. Right. He forgot about all that that's behind him for what reason? To press toward the mark of the pride of the high call of yeah. Jesus Christ Jesus. And that's what we need to do. Just like Brother Matt said, good message this morning. Amen. I appreciate that word. And that's what we got to do. Whatever it is, Paul didn't, nothing mattered to him anymore mm. from his own life, did it? Right. You know, when you can read in other places, it talked about all the persecutions that he suffered, I believe, five times. Mm. He was beat 40 stripes, save one. Yeah. He was shipwrecked three times a night and a day. The Bible said he spit in a day, probably. Yeah. All these things <coughs> Paul went through, but he never counted himself nothing. Right. And that's what he's saying. And that's why we are. We're just going to keep pushing on. Things yeah. we get hard in this world we live in. And we went to Sam's yesterday, and I've never seen the shape that the world was in. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I hate to even go anymore, but you go out yonder, you see junior people ain't got no respect for nothing. Mm -hmm. but that's why we got to keep pressing, Brother Man. That's right. why we got to keep pushing. The devil's there on every hand. Try to turn us one way or the other. But we just got to keep straight on that straight way. Yeah. Amen. All right. Anybody else got anything tonight? Appreciate Brother Matt, Brother Nathan yeah. coming. We're praying for them as they go to Gate City today. Maybe to preach one of them or maybe both of them. And then been going to Johnson City too, ain't you? Or Kingsport. Kingsport, yeah. Kingsport, preaching on the street down there. Pray for them. And God will give them souls for their labor. Amen. All right. Who had a birthday this week?